now we are going to learn about stripe so nowadays stripe is very popular platform for the online payment so you can see like here i have opened already one website stripe.com so stripe is the best software platform for running an internet business here they are handling all the payment related things suppose you are having one application and in that application you want to do some transaction so here you can do all the things here you have to just integrate their api and it's very easy to integrate in next video tutorial we will see how we can integrate their apis in our course like in java or node whatever language we can use so first of all like you have to sign up here after sign up you will see this will comes like here this is your like home account in home account currently i did not activated my account so it, it will so like please activate your account after that if you see here it is a dashboard in dashboard you can see like how many transaction has been done what amount transaction has been done it will comes here so first of all like we have to understand how we can create step by step so basically first of all if you click here customer there is no customer okay either you can create by clicking here or you can also create a customer by your coding like in your code you can call their api and you can also integrate so i'm just going to give you a normal demo so first of all we need your email so you can give your a at the rate of uh, gmail.com like a dummy email i'm just giving to you then you can give some description like whatever you want you can give some unique things if you are flexible with that one then if you click customer here your first customer is created suppose you are hosting a application inside your application so many users are there so you can easily track which user have done transaction all the things so first of all when you click here okay here you can see email id of that user and after that automatically it will give you one customer id this customer id is always unique for a particular user after that what will happen it having so many things like metadata cards bank account source payments activate subscription invoice here everything we will learn step by step so first of all always remember we need a customer okay so when your customer is created after that we need to add their card so if you click here we can add that their card also after that if you're going for transaction in transaction we can use their customer id or we can use their card id or like every time you want to enter the card id or card details then we can easily use the tokens everything we can see in upcoming tutorial so i'm just giving a normal scenario here so if you click here customer this customer i created and if you go down here you can see event so what will happen whatever things if you do with this customer every event will automatically it will comes here and it is a log here you can see like we heated one api that was post method okay and see here it will show everything every details to you and what query we pass here we are using post method we use this things email and description after that it will give some response to you this is your customer id okay this is object and current balance is zero like this user currently having zero balance so you can see here invoice prefix also and it will contain everything so currently i'm not using live okay i'm just using test api key so it's showing here live mode is false and i hit it which api see here customer then customer slash the id okay then in next things we will learn how we can create customer how we will add the card how we will do our first transaction how we can track the users all the payment things in upcoming tutorial tutorials okay so